I want you to expect the unexpected. Understand that God is able to do more than you can think or ask. Allow Him to touch your very being right now. And I pray any spirit that is trying to hinder you will stop right now in Jesus' name that you may be blessed by this message. Amen. The Economy of Heaven Giving thanks unto the Father who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. Colossians chapter 1 verses 12 through 13. If in spite of all the Bible's promises about prosperity, in spite of all the prayers you've prayed, you are still struggling financially, consider this question. Where do you think God is going to get the resources to meet your needs? Many Christians limit God without even realizing it by training their eyes on the limited resources of this world rather than the unlimited resources of God's kingdom. Their faith fails when they think of the troubled economy on the earth, of the shortages and scarcity that surround them. They wonder, how is God going to bless me in the middle of all this? If that's what you've been thinking, here's some news that will turn those thoughts around. The Bible says God has delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. To be translated means to be taken out of one place and put into another. In other words, your citizenship is not primarily of this earth. You are not primarily American or Canadian or Australian. You are first and foremost a citizen of the kingdom of God. That means this planet doesn't have any right to dictate to you whether your needs are met or not. The Bible says God will meet your needs according to his riches in glory. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, you can live by heaven's economy, not earth's economy, and in heaven there's always more than enough. Wake up to the abundance of heaven that's been made yours through Christ Jesus. Wake up to the fact that you've been translated out of a world of poverty into a kingdom of abundance. Rejoice. Heaven's unlimited resources have been made available to you. I want to thank you for listening and sharing this broadcast. Now I want to read a prayer request that was sent to me. And I'll read the request, but I'll leave out the name. Thank you for this message. Let God do it His way. It really helped me. Been going through a spiritual and physical battle and just been bothered with some things. Just need a touch of God spiritually, physically, mentally, and financially, and direction just to hear from God. Let's pray. Father, it's not by our holiness or our righteousness, but it's by your word we're praying. Let everything that needs to come to pass to help this individual and every other individual listening right now that is going through these situations let them be answered fully by the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.